What's up, juice lovers? Charlie Wetlawfer here, standing in front of Salty Juice in sunny San Diego. Salty Juice was founded less than three years ago and is already in hundreds of stores across California, expanding quickly. What makes Salty different? The raw, vegan, non-GMO, cold press, light filtered, which means they're non-HPP or pasteurized, and glass bottled. So with that, let's go inside and meet Ryan, the owner, and learn more about what they do here at Salty. Ryan. Charlie, good how you doing? You. Good. Good, good to see you. So how's the new spot going? It looks amazing. Yeah, the new plant's great. Awesome, do you have a few minutes to give us a tour? Certainly. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. This is one of our cold storage boxes, Charlie. And this is where we keep both raw materials and finished goods. Okay. So over here we have some organic apples uh, from Washington. There's a lot of cucumber, kale, and spinach over here, some of the greens. Yeah. We're lucky in, in San Diego. We got a lot of farms in San Diego and the Central Valley. Right. There are some uh, things that we source from Central America, such as pineapple. Okay. But for the most part, the produce is all coming from California. Nice. Okay, so step one, the fresh produce comes in here. What's step two in your whole processing operation? Yeah, so after the produce comes in, we stage it in the production box. Let's go check that out and we can see all the right. production happening. Let's do it. So from our cold storage box, the produce comes into this production room. And this is a refrigerated production room. We keep it around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. A little cold in here, yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. It's a clean room. And the produce comes into a staging area behind this wall. And then it goes into washing and culling. Okay. Into this water bath where we have reverse osmosis water and parasitic acid, which organically cleans the produce. Then it goes up the elevator into the hopper and grinder, and then into a sanitary pump, which makes the pomace. And then that pomace is pushed into these presses, and each bag is filled with pomace, squeezed out, and then we have the organic cold press juice ready to go for bottling. Right. Yeah, so after production happens and we extract the juice on the Good Nature machines, we then send it through UV light filter, and then that goes into the bulk tanks, and then those feed the filling machine. Okay, so this UV light filter, it's some kind of magical box where juice goes in, you shine some light on it, right, basically? Right. And then it makes the juice safe? Right. Yeah, so it's a non-thermal, non-pressurized technique to filter the juice and remove pathogens. So it's instead of doing like HPP or heat pasteurization? Exactly. Awesome. So after it goes through here, it goes into tanks, and then to the bottling line? Yeah, so we have bulk tanks over there. Uh, they're refrigerated at 34 degrees. They hold the juice for uh, maybe 30 minutes to two hours, depending on the runtime of the machine. And then it goes straight into bottling. Cool, let's go check that out. Okay, sounds good. So the product comes from the UV filters over to these bulk tanks. This is our production manager, Yoshi. Hey, Ryan. How you doing, hey, Yoshi? Yoshi. How you this doing? is Charlie. Hey, Charlie. And uh, tell us about these bulk tanks. We have charcoal eliminated here. We're getting it ready to pump into the holding tanks on our filler. And how many units uh, or gallons will this thing hold? Uh, this will hold 200 gallons. It's a 250 gallon tank, but we need some head space for, the, for our nitrogen. Excellent. Awesome. Great. So after this, it goes into the filling line? Yep, it goes into the filling line. It's actually already hooked up to the filling line. All we got to do is turn on the machine, a valve opens, go straight into the tank. Awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Yosh. No problem. So this is your giant aseptic filling machine. Can you tell me? First of all, why is it so big and what, what does it do? Yeah, so this is an aseptic filler. So what that means is it's a hermetically sealed filling environment. So no yeast, mold, bacteria, spores can get inside of the sealed environment where the bottles are filled, capped, and then come out to get labeled. So nothing inside this machine touches the outside air at all during the whole process? Correct, yeah. So the, the big ducts on the top of this machine are HEPA air filters and it's constantly circulating air. So it's a positive pressure environment inside, which means that no dust or anything could get inside the machine. Okay, so I haven't seen these used in cold press juice before personally. Maybe some people are that I haven't seen, but what made you decide that this was an important step in your process? Yeah, uh, we want to treat juice like a really delicate product uh, and, and be as gentle as possible and aseptic filling is the most gentle way to, to fill a product and retain all of its natural goodness. So now we're in this 15,000 square foot amazing factory with this beautiful tasting room. And three years ago, you didn't even have a juice company, right? So they just didn't even exist. Right. What were you doing then? And how'd you transition into starting a juice company? 
Yeah, so um, probably about five years ago, I was getting really into organic food personally. I was working in technology. I was in sales, enterprise sales, selling data center gear all over the United States to data centers, servers, and okay. a bunch of tech stuff. And I was traveling around and noticed that organic food made me feel better. I had better cognitive function and more energy. So I was looking for juice all the time and saw that there was nothing really on the shelf that was top notch. So I knew there was an opening in the market there. And as I got more involved and more fanatical about organic foods, I said, well, there's an opportunity here to really break out with something new. And that is what started I guess the inner desire to do that. Then you called me, good nature, and bought your first used X1 machine. Right. <laughs> and then yeah. three years later, we're here. Right. So yeah, I mean, you you financed our first machine. We bought a used X1 <laughs> yeah. in a rental kitchen. I was delivering juice in an ice chest in the back of my car. Uh, did that for a few months, and then got a truck. And you know, a few years later, Just hustled. Yeah, we we've, <laughs> we've we've come a long way. We've yeah. been really lucky to have good good people like you on board and partners. That's great, it's been fun to watch it grow. Thanks. If someone were to come to you today and say, hey Ryan, I want to start a wholesale juice company, what kind of advice would you give them or what would you tell them before they go into business? Yeah, I, I think there's a huge opportunity for people to serve their community with uh, organic cold pressed juices. So I would recommend starting a brick and mortar location uh, with, a, with a simple machine that serves a community and has a certain geographic region where you can provide real value to the, to the customers. Um, a wholesale business compared to a retail business is completely different. I mean, this isn't for the faint of heart. You know, I would encourage people to go after their dreams. Entrepreneurship is very important and, and going after that, I always encourage it. But it's ca capital intense. It's a lot of training, a lot of work, uh, a lot of regulation. So it's not just, you know, I'm gonna serve juice to the community. So it's two different avenues. I think both are great. But if I were to uh, give advice to someone just starting out, the brick and mortar solution may be good. Okay, so let's talk about the future a little bit. Where do you see Salty Juice in three years and 10 years? I see us in three years having perhaps a second facility to service the Eastern United States. For sure by that time we'll be nationwide out of this facility, but we may okay. have another facility. And in 10 years, I envision uh, these types of facilities all over the world serving major metropolitan areas. We've had a ton of interest from Asia, from Japan, from Korea. I, I certainly see us being able to re replicate this format in different geographic regions around the world. Nice. Something a consumer would notice immediately about Salty if they're in a grocery store is probably the unique packaging. Um, I'd like to talk about that. Can you grab a bottle? Yes. Okay, so this, this awesome uh, glass bottle, the orange cap, um, what kind of motivated you to come up with this design? Yeah, so from the beginning, uh, we were set on glass. It was glass or nothing. Um, there's a lot of plastic out there, and we wanted to have a, a premium experience, better flavor and aroma out of glass, uh, no leaching from petroleum-based plastic. What made you go with orange for the cap color? Well, soul tea means of the sun and we use UV light filtration, and we okay. bottle in glass, and all of our produce comes from sunshine, which nourishes the right. earth, right? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we have a, an orange or marigold theme, so uh, marigold or orange is our color. Yes, it's almost like a rising sun. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Ryan, thanks for the awesome tour. Thank it you. It was fun learning more about your process. Thanks. Do you think maybe we could go to the tasting room and try some? Yeah, let's go try some. All right. So here's our tasting room in the front of the production plant where you can try all the different products that we carry. This is nice. I like the wall of the taps. It's pretty neat. Almost looks like a brewery or something. Certainly. We took a lot of inspiration from the brewery world. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So what do you got? Uh, we have charcoal lemonade on tap. It's one of our top SKUs. This has reverse osmosis water, cold pressed organic lemon, maple syrup and activated coconut charcoal. Okay. And so what is the health benefit of the charcoal? So this goes into your body, absorbs toxins, and helps you eliminate. It tastes just like lemonade, but it has a black... It does actually taste like lemonade. Yeah. So this is our number one skew, Pure Green. This has kale, spinach, apple, cucumber, mint, and lemon. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's nice and green. Oh yeah, it's our number one skew. It's the most nutrient dense juice we have. It's really been a hit. Mm. It's really good. I can see what's your number one. Uh, another skew we have that's a top seller. This is number two or three is Ginger Made. This is green apple, lemon, and ginger. Mm. It has a great bite to it. It's really good for circulation. Oh wow, it's really good. So it's a beverage that'll give you some good energy, help your blood circulation, and is alkalizing. It's really good, I always love that fresh ginger. Yeah, it's got a good bite. Ryan, just wanna say thanks again for showing us around your awesome new facility. Best of luck to Salty in the future. Until next time. Thanks, Charlie, thanks for coming by. All I right. appreciate your support. All right, thanks, buddy. Yep.